So this is the second video that I was talking about in the last video. So let's start another example uh, in the principle of mathematical induction. So this example states that, this is our last example, okay. Okay, so we will prove that Prove that uh, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. So basically, these are all the squares. These are all squares of numbers until n squared. It is said to be equal to n times 2n plus 1. Sorry times n plus 1 all over 6 okay for all let me put it here cannot fit for all n and n so let's prove this again by induction let me change the color okay so proof by induction Or how about this? Maybe you can pause the video and you can try it yourself. Just follow the same steps that, that we did here um, from this um, previous steps. So we have this proof. You can have a picture of this, screenshot, and this, and this, and finally this. And apply it here. Sorry, it should be folds. Okay, and uh, maybe you can pause the video to answer. Okay, so let's try to answer this. I hope you had the answer already. So what we will do here is we will let... Okay, so we will let S... Okay, let S uh, denote the set... of all positive integers integers n so we observe that n equals 1 the formula becomes true because for our basis step So, um, when n equals 1, so substitute, the formula becomes, uh, we have sorry, we have um, so put 1 in this n squared, so what we'll have is 1 squared equals, um, substitute 1 in all these n's, 1 times 2 times 1 plus 1 uh, 1 plus 1. All over 6 so this is equal to um, 1 you can delete this 2, ti two, two plus 1 is 3 1 plus 1 is 2 all over 6 so this is equal to 6 on 6 so we have 1 and 1 squared is also equal to 1 so therefore um, the basis step is correct because 1 equals 1 Okay, which means that 1 is in S. Um, hence, 1 is in S. Okay, so that is the, ba the basis step holds. Uh, basis step holds. Uh, okay, let, I cannot fit the, the words the basis step holds, but um, let's put it there in our minds. Okay.
Um, next is we are going to write the induction step. induction step and let us assume k is in s so let's assume k is in s so we have um we have in short one squared two squared three squared k squared until Something, something, something is equal to something without equal to k. So 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus something, something, something plus n squared is equal to um, k, rather k squared is equal to k times 2k plus 1 times k plus 1 all over 6. Actually, we can rewrite this same as the previous example. This is the summation of all i, i squared, because we're squaring them, i running from 1 1 to k okay so this is equal to this so we need to have the sum and we need to show that if k is true um, then k plus 1 must also be true so in short we will show uh, we show we need to show we will show show that um, P of k, since though we don't, if k is in s, then um, k plus 1 is in s. Okay, so what we have here by the similar step, we will be getting the value of this k plus 1. Okay, so what we can do here is we're going to write 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus something, something, something plus k squared plus k plus 1 quantity squared will be equal to the values of all this uh, k's with k plus 1's with them. So how can we write this? Um, this will be in the first, in our first one, it will be k plus 1. Hopefully I can fit it. Okay, so imagine here, this will become k plus 1. Okay, so what we have is 2 times k plus 1. Oh, sorry. K plus 1 plus 1. And then we have K plus 1 plus 1. That's, can we just write it as K plus 2? Um, I cannot fit it. I'll put it here. So we have three factors here, all over 6. Um, I think I can rewrite this better next page. So again, what we have is, can we just make it simple? Like in the previous example, we have um, i squared, um, i running from uh, 1 to k plus 1. Uh, re recall, recall that we, this is equal to the, the summation of all i squareds, i running from 1 to k plus um, k plus 1 quantity squared. Okay, so let's try to substitute the values. Okay, the, remember the value of um, summation of i squared 
i running from 1 to k is just uh, this one. Okay, This is it. Only until k. So we're going to copy this um, number here. And then we're going to add another k plus 1 quantity squared. And then make sure that this is equal to this. Okay, Make sure that this is equal to this. Uh, maybe we can simplify, simplify this a bit. Um, maybe next page. Okay. So... Um, let me let us simplify that one that part um, before what was that again I'm sure that it's pretty sure that's six down below um, k plus one then we have um, this becomes 2k and this becomes 2 2 plus 1 is 3 so therefore this is 2k plus 3 And then lastly, we have uh, k plus 2. k plus 2. Okay, so we're going to make this equal to our right-hand side over here. So our right-hand side is this one. So we have here k times quantity of 2k, 2k plus 1 times k plus 1 all over 6 but remember we have added here a plus k plus 1 squared so what we're going to do is to make them an equality or an, ident ident I an identity rather okay so to make them equal okay so let's I think we can tweak the right hand side for this one it looks more complicated to me let's fix that so put the 6 here so what we have is k times 2k plus 1 uh, times k plus 1 k plus 1 plus 6 times k plus 1 quantity squared okay, k plus 1 quantity squared um, next up is we go we I think we can get the case k plus one in each of these factors leaving this be equal to we're going to get again we're going to get the k plus one in each of them okay so if we're going to get the k plus one here what we have left in this part is the k times two k plus one okay um plus we have 6k plus 1 all over 6 okay so what else can we do in here um what else can we do anyway um why don't we why don't we um try to tweak this part why don't we try to tweak this part here so if we're going to do that, let's take note of that. So where were we? Okay. So we have k plus 1 in this part. And then, I can't remember that. Uh, copy that. k times quantity of 2k plus 1. k times the quantity of 2k plus 1. A plus the quantity, I believe. Um, that will be 6k plus 6. 6k plus 6. Okay, so, and then simplify this bit. Uh, k plus 1. What we have is 2k squared. 2k squared plus k plus 6k plus 6. Okay, that's it. Um, simplify the like terms. Um, k plus 1. We have 2k squared. Uh, change it, move it a little bit. 2k squared plus 7k plus 6. All over 6. Now, let's try to look at this number here. I think we have a factor. 
for this number? Uh, what are the two factors for this um, trinomial? Okay, what will be the factor for this trinomial? I think that that will be 2k plus 3 and k plus 2. Again, 2k plus 3 um, and k plus 2. Oh, sorry. What we have is uh, this becomes k plus 1 times 2k plus 3 and then times k plus 2 by factoring all over oops sorry all over 6 and i think this is now our right hand side this is now equal to our previous value here so if we're going to look up above yeah they're pretty much equal okay so k plus 1 times 2k plus 3 times k plus 2 all over 6 this is the right hand side now k plus 1 times 2k plus 3 times k plus Okay, so they're equal now. So this is equal to the left hand side. This is now the right hand side. And they are equal since they are the equation of k plus 1. This reasoning set um, is true then. So we can say that by induction, by, 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 by PMI, uh, by, by principle of mathematical induction, uh, S must be equal to all positive integers in, okay, or all counting numbers. So that is uh, the given formula is true. The given formula is true um, for all n uh, for all n in n and that's the end of proof okay so that's it uh, we have showed here two examples quite a long video I believe but this shows two proofs of the principle of mathematical induction in action. So again, let us have a brief um, wrap up. So we have proven that 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared up until consecutive integers being squared up until n squared is equal to this um, term. By induction, we have proved in the basic step that 1 equals 1 here. So substitute 1 if it's 1 squared. So this is equal to 1 also. That's 6 over 6. And it become 1. So that's the basic, the basic step holds. For indu the induction step, we assume that for an arbitrary k in S, that is an integer, a positive integer. So if k is in S, so therefore this term is the one we want. So we will show that if k is in S, therefore it implies that k plus 1 is also in S. And we have shown by algebraic manipulation that it is true. And therefore the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And that is, by PMI, the, the principle of mathematical induction, S is equal to the natural um, integers, or natural numbers, or the counting in counting numbers, or the set of positive integers. That is, the given formula is true for all n. in it. So, I think uh, this is enough for this video. Okay, see you. Bye.